Hello everyone. In the Acid Based Lecture Series, our today's topic of discussion is Super Acids. What are Super Acids? A Super Acid is an acid which has acidity uh, greater than that of 100% uh, pure sulfuric acid. Therefore, Super Acids are very strong acids which should have some features. Firstly, they have HGR values below minus 12. HGR is the Hammett's acidity function. Hence, with minus 12 H0 value, they should be 10 to the power 12 times stronger than a normal 1 molar strong acid solution. A super acid is an acid which has acidity greater than that of 100% pure sulfuric acid. As I have said uh, in the preliminary description, it is a medium in which the chemical potential of the proton is higher than that in the pure sulfuric acid. Now let us cite the examples of super some super acids. In the first example, they consist of very strong bronze state acids such as oleum. Oleum means it means H2SO4 dot SO3 or simply H2S2O7. Now super acid may be a very strong Lewis acid such as antimony pentafluoride or it may be a combination of oleum and antimony pentafluoride. In another example, super acids, example of super acids, the uh, combination of antimony pentafluoride and fluorosulfuric acid is such a strong acid that it can dissolve even the candle wax, that is paraffin. How? Now, by protonation. It is so powerful that it can form carbonation, carbocation like uh, trimethyl methyl cation, that is CME3 plus ion. It follows this reaction. This reaction here, 2,2-dimethylpropane or simply neopentane, when it reacts with this super acid, this super acid uh, composition of uh, SVF5 and HSO3F, then it undergoes protonation, and this protonated species then forms the Me3C plus ion by releasing methane gas. Okay. And you will be surprised to know that its, four, its 14 is to 1 ratio has the H0 value of minus 26.5. Can you imagine how powerful acid composition is that? Now let us give you another example. And uh, it is the solution of SBF5 in hydrofluoric acid when H2F positive SBF6 negative is formed. This can protonate even the most unlikely bases such as H2, Cl2, Br2, carbon dioxide, and even inert gas like xenon. The H0 value for the 0 0.6 mole ratio of HF plus uh, SBF5 this composition it corresponds to minus 21.1 now 0 0.6 mole percent means if 0 0.6 mole of SBF5 has to be dissolved then 99.4 percent the 99.4 moles of HF has to be taken okay here SBF5 acts as a fluoride acceptor that enhances the acidity of HF look how does it work here SBF5 takes away one F negative ion leaving a bare proton which in turn combines with another HF molecule to form the HF2 positive ion. It is evident from uh, the fact that the addition of some other fluoride donors as for example sodium fluoride the acidity of hydrofluoric acid decreases. That is Fluoride ions are now being provided by NaF. Uh, okay, this NaF is supplying the fluoride ion instead of HF. So its acidity would turn into super acidity. Therefore, we can conclude that the fluoride acceptors increase the acidity of HF. Examples of such other fluoride acceptors are boron trifluoride, then niobium pentafluoride, and tantalum pentafluoride. Now let us move on to the uh, final example. 
the composition sulfur trioxide and antimony trifluoride this composition up to 3 to 1 molar ratio is more efficient to enhance the acidity in chlorosulfuric acid uh, due to these following reactions these reactions but before that just have a look at the uh, structure of fluorosulfuric acid then the idea about the reactions would be more clear to you look uh, if one mole of SO3 reacts with SbF5, then the species SbF4OSO2F is formed. Okay. And if three, if uh, two moles of SO3, it produces SbF3 OSO2F whole twice. This species. And if three moles of SO3 takes part in this reaction, then the species SbF2 O SO2 F whole thrice, this species is produced. Okay. Uh, this species then reacts with two moles of fluorosulfuric acid. Two moles of fluorosulfuric acid here. And uh, it produces H2 SO F positive and SbF2 O SO2 F4 negative ions okay here the uh, fluorosulfate anion of the auto ionized product of fluorosulfuric acid is getting captured by the species sbf 2 oso 2 f whole thrice in order to facilitate the auto ionization of hso3f both the sbf 5 and hso3f and 3 to 1 so3 sbf 5 along with hso3f solutions are powerful super acids and it is such a powerful acid that the strong acids like uh, C6H3NO2 whole thrice that is trinitrobenzene this powerful acid even it appears as a strong base in this super acid but but last but not least there is a bottom line of the story of super acids and this is the idea of super acids exists only in non aqueous media that is, if water is somehow present there, then super acidity would have gone. So, that's all for this topic. Thank you. Have a nice day.